Welcome to IBM Support TV, where we answer questions and share technical support information, hints and tips on IBM products. Question. How do I set security traces with the UFSD Application Server Administrative Console? Navigate to the security problems for WebSphere application server must gather documentation. Expand the collecting data manually section. Scroll down to the security trace strength. Highlight the trace strength. Right-click the selection. Click Copy. Close the web browser window. Enter your user ID. Enter your password. Click Login. Expand Troubleshooting. Click Logs and Trace. Click the server name that you want to trace. Click Diagnostic Trace. Type a value of 20 into the maximum number of historical files field. Click Apply. Click Change Log Detail Levels. Highlight the string that is already in the text box. Click Paste to paste the trace string that was copied earlier from the Muscata document. Click OK. Click Save. Click Log Out. Close the web browser window. Open the command prompt window. Type stop server, name of your server. Ensure that the server is stopped. Navigate to the WebSphere profile folder. Navigate to the logs folder. Navigate to the server folder. Select all the old log files. Right-click on the selection. Click Cut. Right-click the folder where you back up your old log files. Click Paste. Close the folder. Type Start Server, name of your server. Ensure that your server is open for e-business. Navigate to the WebSphere Integrated Solutions Console. Enter your user ID. Enter your password. Click Login. Expand security and recreate the issue. Once the issue is recreated, log out of the WebSphere Integrated Solutions Console. Close the web browser window. Type cd c colon slash in a command prompt window. Type mkdir for IBM. Type cd for IBM. Highlight the path to the bin folder. Right click the selection to copy the path to the bin folder. 
right-click the command prompt window to paste the path into the window. Append slash collector dot bat to the end of the path. Type dir once the collector completes. Send the resulting jar file to the IBM support team. Thanks for watching this episode of IBM Support TV. Please leave a comment with topics you would like to see in future episodes. Until then, stay tuned.